can you talk about you know some of your own products projects that you're working on which are aimed at solving these problems yeah we got something coming up it's um it's maybe a bit early but among us you know <laughs> so one of the things if you have a lot of kubernetes clusters you know kubernetes clusters some of them they do isolate workloads in the sense that whatever you need to do it's put on the kubernetes cluster and the kubernetes cluster is self contained but how often is this really the case so if you're on an infrastructure for example like aws or azure you often also consume uh, services from from uh, aws or azure if you're on premise you also need to take care of databases connect applications and if it's still that challenge that if you have a lot of kubernetes clusters where do you put your data so in a, in the early stages i thought well you develop operators you put the operators on kubernetes you maintain the data services next to the applications and this will do the trick we figured out over time that this is not what customers want because it also makes it hard to understand for example well what are the postgres instances that are affected by the last cve how do you answer such a question if data service operations are scattered across you know many kubernetes clusters you need a certain amount of central governance in order to um, comply to security standards and get things right so we thought about what we had in the cloud foundry days right where you'd have a, a centralized marketplace a cloud controller that knows about all the service instances and we thought about well the kubernetes ecosystem looks different you have a lot of kubernetes clusters so how can you bring the two worlds together how can you take the lessons learned from the cloud foundry ecosystem and and transfer it to the to the kubernetes world and we came up came up with a new technology which is called clutch like the clutch in a car clutch brings together applications and data and it's it's the place where both come together um a spoiler alert uh clutch will be uh, open source and released under apache 2 so the release is currently in the making um and what clutch is about is providing a management cluster that's central at least to a region and you can deploy as many application clusters you want kubernetes clusters so in every kubernetes cluster you install a small extension that will introduce custom resource definitions that will re represent for each data service you want to integrate service instances service bindings uh backup and restore for example um and with that application developers in local application developer clusters can create let's say postgres database or mongodb database um locally but the actual execution of of that request is executed using a pluggable aut automation backend so it will talk to the clutch server where it centrally registers the creation of that service instance and will delegate the heavy lifting to an automation backend which could be the any nine data services for postgres or it could be the aws postgres which provisions a pod uh, or it could be amazon rds so in that sense clutch helps to abstract where the uh, postgres database comes from and it will allow on a month self service for the application developer so creating a service instance scaling a service instance uh, creating a backup or restoring a backup will be done as if the data service were running local where it actually runs someplace else and now if you think you have 100 kubernetes clusters many application developers and now there's the security officer asking well where are the postgres uh service instances and what versions do they have you can basically talk to the clutch server and retrieve that information with ease so yeah that's that's what we've been working on what's still in the making um is providing that abstraction um allowing for local developer autonomy while providing that central governance